Hey everyone, I hope you are doing great and having great time learning Prometheus. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can connect Prometheus and Grafana and how we can use already built dashboards. We are going to quickly import those dashboards in Grafana to be quickly able to start monitoring our servers. So for that, first we need to go on and download Grafana. So I'm going to go to grafana.com slash grafana slash download. And here you can see I'm under Linux section. And here, since I'm using CentOS, I'm going to copy paste these commands in order to install, in order to download and install Grafana. So I'm just going to uh, run this command. And here you can see now Grafana is being downloaded. It has been successfully downloaded. Now let's move on and run this second command, which is going to install Grafana. And let's run this on the server as well. So it might take some time in order to install uh, Grafana. Okay, so right now you see it is saying Grafana is already running here because uh, before this demo I just already installed it but in your case you are going to see that it's going to take some time in order to install it and if you are on some other version make sure you go to that specific version and then you download and install Grafana accordingly. So now let's go on and we are going to see whether service is successfully running or not because it has been uh, downloaded and installed we need to make sure whether it is running or not. So in order to check Grafana services, what we can do is uh, let's just go on and I'm just going to show you the documentation here first. So if you just uh, go to grafana.com slash docs slash Grafana latest installation RPM and you scroll down, you're going to see these are the set of commands which you can run uh, in order to manage Grafana. So I'm just going to run sudo systemct uh, l status Grafana server and then it is going to show us whether Grafana is running or not. So right now you can see Grafana has been installed but it is not in running state so I'm going to start Grafana and after that we are going to see status of Grafana again to make sure that Grafana is properly running. So I'm just going to run status command again and this time you can see it is showing Grafana is active and it is running. So now I'm going to open uh, Grafana user interface so for that. Uh, this is the IP address of my server and Grafana by default runs on port 3000 so I'm just going to use port 3000 hit enter and we should be able to see Grafana user interface. So that's it we can see Grafana is already installed and running we can write admin admin which is a default username and password so admin is the username and same you can copy paste in password as well. Now click on login it is going to ask you to change the password I don't want to change the password as of now so I'm just going to click on skip and just going to close all the other interfaces as well. Okay, so this is uh, Grafana and just in case you are not able to see Grafana screen, make sure if you are running uh, this server on cloud, in that case you need to go to firewall and you need to make sure you have allowed port 3000. So in this case you can see I have allowed port 3000, that's the reason I was able to successfully uh, see Grafana user interface. So that's what you need to troubleshoot in case Grafana is not running. Alright, so now Grafana is perfectly working. We are going to go to now, we are going to go to download one of the pre-built dashboards of Prometheus and we are going to import this dashboard in Grafana. So there are two ways to import the dashboards in Grafana. One thing is you can just copy this ID and then you can just go to create and then you can click on import. And once you click on import, there is, here, is an, here is an option of giving the ID, uh, the ID which I just shown you here. So you can just uh, paste this ID here and click on load and then it is going to show this, uh, going to show that uh, dashboard here. But uh, let's say if your Grafana is not connected to internet, in that case if you give the ID here it is not going to work and that's the reason uh, sometimes you may need to uh, download this JSON file and once you click on download JSON, this JSON is going to get downloaded and then you can uh, click on upload JSON file and then you can upload this JSON file here. Okay, so whichever method you want to choose, you can choose that. Uh, now, in order to import this Prometheus uh, JSON file, uh, it is going to actually ask for a data source. So we first should be creating a data source. So I'm going to cl uh, click on configuration, I'm going to click on data sources. Click on it, add data source and we are going to select Prometheus. And from here, we are going to specify uh, the URL where Prometheus is running. So we, you, uh, our URL is this one. I'm just going to copy it, going to paste it here and then scroll down, uh, select save and test. If everything is okay, it is going to tell data source is working. Now we can click on back and we can see that there is a data source available here, which is called Prometheus. 
now we can uh, click on create we are going to uh, select import and i'm just going to click on upload json file and going to select the json file which we have recently downloaded and click on open now you can see it is showing here and here you can also see it is asking for a data source and this is a prometheus data source which we just created so i'm going to select that and then click on import and now this dashboard is going to get imported now you see how beautiful it is uh, so just with a few clicks we were able to uh, import this dashboard and now we can see everything is already available so you can see that it is showing you uptime of the servers it is also showing uh, the server which is down so i am running node exporter only on one server right now the other one is down so that's why it is showing that this server is down if you had multiple servers down it is going to show all those servers here you can also see all other summary and also you can see more details about uptimes storage memory and you can see several other several other things as well okay so this is uh, this is a default database which you uh, sorry this is the default dashboard which you can just go ahead and import and there are several other uh, several other dashboards available as well so you can just go ahead and check if uh, whichever fits your need you can just go ahead and download and import that dashboard and you can see if that fits your need and just in case if you want to make minor changes in that case you can click on any of the panel and then click on edit and then you are going to see the query which is being used here so for this panel this is the prometheus query which is being used i'm not going to go in the details of grafana because for grafana i already have created almost four hours of tutorial which is available you can just go ahead and check that and you are going to understand everything about Grafana. So that's all uh, in this lesson. See you again in the next lesson.